Hello and welcome to this week's Glass Tower Top 5. It is the week of November 23rd, 2017. I'm Christina Reese. And I'm Brandon Zach. And happy Thanksgiving, Christina! Yeah, we're shooting this a couple of days early, but it doesn't matter because, you know, some of us have to get on the road, but um, that's all right. That's all right. So we're counting on the top five art events in Texas this week, and we are going to be all over Texas in this top five. Number five uh, is the Galveston Art Lending Library's kind of premier opening event. So what's an art lending library? Well, it's basically like a normal library, except, you know, it costs a little bit of a fee, but you pay a little money and you get to take home a work for 10 weeks, and then you bring it back, and then you get a new piece of art. It's a way to collect art without having to collect art. Yeah, you get to live with it for 10 weeks and then you can go in and trade it for a, a fresh piece of art, I suppose. Um, it's kind of a, like a food co-op. You buy a membership and I think different levels of membership give you different perks. There's a show that will kick off this program this Saturday in Galveston. It's on the Strand. It's in a commercial space on the Strand. Yeah, and this is actually uh, an idea fund project that Galveston artist Nick Barbie got an idea fund grant to do. Um, so he's spent the last 11 months collecting all this work. So, I mean, it's a lot of people that we know, a lot of people we're familiar with. And there's actually some really good domestic-sized art in this group. So go borrow some art. I'm so curious. Like, is there a contract about how you take care of the work or whether or not you keep it in direct sunlight or out of direct sunlight or up off the floor or on the wall or maybe some of the pieces it's going to be just like a library some of the pieces are going to come back a little dog-eared maybe something will be off a little bit it'll come back with cat hair all over it yeah some of the members will will get bad reputations for for maybe not taking such good care of that's not true i'm sure that's not true i'm sure everyone don't, don't get steve the really expensive watercolor he'll destroy it so number four this week is in dallas it's at chris worley's gallery it's isabel dutois she's represented and worked with isabel for 18 years um, um, Isabelle Dutois is a painter, but she was trained in printmaking, and you can see it. Of course I picked this show. It's the critters. It's the animals. Um, you know, there's a tradition for painting animals that would not normally cohabitate or get along or hang out. This show is called Truce. These are animals that you would never normally see together. They're beautifully painted. I'll show you some details. You can see the printmaking hand in these beautiful, beautiful paintings. Um, she's based in Florida now, but she was in DFW for a long time. She was born in France. She was raised at least part of the time in South Africa. She's been around. Number three this week is a show that's actually, it's been up for a long time. We've been talking about including it for so long. It's at the Umlauf Sculpture Garden and Museum in Austin. It's an artist, Austin artist, Bucky Miller. The show's called Grackle Actions. Bucky Miller is a recent UT graduate. He's a photographer and a sculptor. Um, and he's the winner of this year's Umlauf Prize, as juried by Bill Arning. So with that prize, he gets a solo show, and this is his solo show. So he takes photographs, and he's just really talented at capturing all of the fun little moments that happen in the world that otherwise go overlooked. And his kind of playful eye is really mirrored in the show because when a person wins this prize, they also do work in the garden that kind of interacts with Charles Umlauf's works. So he uh, prints his photographs sometimes on this almost canvas-like sticky paper. So some of those are like appliqued to uh, pieces of pedestals of the sculptures or they're appliqued to walls in the gallery around corners or into this outdoor space. And it's, it's really playful and it's really smart and it's really... Uh, deliberate and subtle. Does it end this weekend? It ends on the 26th. So number two this week is the is this season's Art Pace residency show. Uh, three artists, as usual. Lily Renault dewer Martha Wilson, who's a, a veteran artist, and Hyde Fontenot, who we've had the pleasure of having in Texas for quite a while. He had an astonishingly good show in Condo, at Conduit Gallery in Dallas last year, around the time of the election. Um... You've seen it. Yeah, so this show is actually, it was curated by Michael Smith, who's a performance artist and a professor at UT. And you kind of see the performative elements come through in everyone's work. Um, Martha has a bunch of photographs that are 
merging kind of her face with faces of other people. So Donald Trump, Melania, other politicians, politicians' wives. Um, Hyde has kind of piggybacked off of his show at Conduit that you wrote about to build this stage set, this biker bar, kind of queer biker bar stage set that he's actually shooting video in. Um, and then Lily went out to Marfa and created this film that's almost part hipster cool kid hangout and part zombie flick. Mm -hmm. It's nice. It seems like these are all political shows without being um, particularly stern. There's a playfulness to them while still being really pretty highly politicized. All right, so number one this week is at the Brownsville Museum of Fine Art. It is a group show. It is called Seeing the Unseen. It's Jesse Amato, Joey Farso, Riley Robinson, and Chris Sauter, San Antonio artists. It's a group of people we know. Um, and, you know, I, I don't know if I would have necessarily thought to put these four artists together in a show. They kind of all have different visual aesthetics. Uh, Joey and Chris have kind of have some similarities recently, but the show's about family technology and kind of the blending together of almost installation like elements to tell a story. Yeah. And it says, uh, the press release also says it exemplifies the idea of design and construction. The show is up all the way through December and into maybe the earliest of January. So you got a little bit of time. So what are you, uh, what are you doing for Thanksgiving? It is Thanksgiving Day by the time it this is. airs. Um, I'm going to eat lots of macaroni and sweet potatoes. Okay. What's your favorite thing on the table? Oh, that's, that's difficult. Okay. Like, 